attacks against Clarence Thomas today mm -hmm. when it was a 9-0 decision. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, they just wanted to attack Clarence Thomas. Why? Because he's black. I, mm. Because you know, his uh, wife. What? Because his wife participated in January 6th. But he, was about. he voted along with I, all, it's 9-0. I understand. It doesn't make any sense. His wife was Look, on I agree, Jessica. Six? She helped organize Jessica, buses. I agree. I agree. We need to do something about this extreme MAGA Supreme Court. I mean, I'm serious. Nine zero. Yeah. I mean, I heard I, this is a rumor that Sotomayor and uh, Justice Kagan were out in the parking lot listening to Toby Keith twirling their red hats out in front of their pickup truck. I think we this is why we need to get more justices into the Supreme Court so we can balance this extreme <laughs> nine. Right. Isn't that what we should do? It is a bummer that it's up to the voters. You know, I mean, elections seem so old fashioned when you can rely on liberal traffic judges, liberal prosecutors and liberal DAs to circumvent uh, the peep, the will of the people. And lawfare is what the Democrats do instead of debating and campaigning. Imagine instead of the World Series, this is a sports analogy. Got it. Imagine instead you have the World Series and instead of the team playing, the owners investigate the star players of each team, <laughs> trying to get them out before the game is played. That's exactly what this is. And I, I, you could take this as a victory, 9-0, to zero, but this is part of a bigger strategy. They're going to employ lawfare of all kinds against politicians, voters, supporters of people. They're doing it already. Um, and they get love from the media. The reason why these judges are doing it is because it's incentivized. It incentivize. You can go from obscurity in Colorado or obscurity in Illinois, right, yep. and you get a nice warm Sorry. bath from the media who thinks you're a big anti-Trump hero until that stunt falls apart. I think the big play is to the goal is to label Trump as a felon. And this they will try to pretend that this is a moral mission, but it's not. It's it's directed to them by polling. They saw a poll that voters would be less likely to vote for Trump if he was a felon. Mm -hmm. So they start there and then they work backwards. Mm -hmm. They don't give a damn whether he's guilty or he needs to pay. They want to impact an election, circumvent the voter by using lawfare based on some desperate polling, which they need right now.